Hi everybody, it's Melissa with Pixie Dust Adventures Travel Planner. And Easton from Easton's Edge. And right now we are on Disney's private island called Castaway Key. And there's the magic. We have spent two days in Castaway Key, and we call that a Castaway Key double dip. Didn't you say double dipping was bad? Double dipping is bad, unless it's two stops in Castaway Key on Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, that was super cheesy. cheesy. <laughs> you guys don't wanna hear about that. Um, but we were just gonna talk to you a little bit about our day. Maybe you could pick up a few tips for your own trip. We have a saying, right? Yeah don't delay do it right away so if it's something that you want to do on your vacation whether it's marvel day at sea with a huge lineup of things that you want to do or things you want to do on castaway key get up early seize the day carpe diem if you have a list of to do's then get at it and do it first so on our first morning we plan to run the castaway key 5k right yeah because we didn't it, do it the first day that way if the second day is bad at least we did it the first day right exactly so um, we set our alarm, we got up early. You have to join a virtual queue to debark, um, to get off Disney Cruise Line. That's how they're controlling crowds and capacity at the debarkation point. It goes really fast though. No worries if you get a high group number because they go really fast as you could see them even counting down uh, in this video here. You can see them counting down as we're watching the group numbers ahead of us count down until it's our turn to get off. But anyway, um, so we got our virtual queue to get off and we went and had a quick breakfast at Cabana's. That's right. We wanted Mickey churro waffle, <laughs> yummy. Mickey churro waffles are the best invention ever, right? Like what's better than a churro? What's better than a deep fried Mickey waffle <laughs> turned into a churro? A deep fried Mickey waffle coated in sugar. What could be better? We changed our clothes and then we, this time we skipped the characters the first morning yeah. and we got on the tram to the far point the furthest point you get off and that's closest to the entrance to the 5k right right you get to start your you don't start with a group in case you're wondering if you've done the 5k before you used to have to sign up for it and you would show up in the walt disney theater and everybody would get off the ship all at once and you would all run the 5k at one time because of crowds they don't do that anymore so you get off and you run the 5k on your own time um it's cooler in the morning so we got off we got started on our 5k and it's a lot of fun uh you run down the runway who knew there was a runway on castaway key right but you get to see it yep. so run down on the runway and it's also a bike path so you can rent bikes and ride bikes there run down the runway and then there's a circle over to your right you go around this circle and it's kind of fun because what you go around it one way and yep. you turn around you go around it the other way you have to go around it twice but it's interesting right, mm -hmm. right. there's also a huge tower you can like look out right. from it's really really beautiful view the exploration tower you mm -hmm. can take a break and you can climb the exploration tower and look around and it's so high up you can see so far um so we really enjoyed our time doing that we did stop off and get distracted but there's lots of little things to look at along the way anchors decorations things like that but after you finish the loop oh and there are water stations. There are water stations along of the course. way. So stay hydrated um, in this humidity and the heat. It is easy to get dehydrated. So um, after you do the loop twice, then what? Then you run all the way down to the runway, all the way down it, and then you turn around and run all the way back down it. <laughs> right. And so at the very end of the runway is Serenity Bay. That's the adults only area um, at Castaway Key. So Disney is not just for kids. They have adults clubs, adult spaces on the ship, and an adults only area on their island. So you run all the way there, run all the way back, come all the way back to the starting point, and when you finish, what? The best part? You get to cross the finish line and stop by the little booth at the end and grab your med medal, medallion. <laughs> medal, yes. We can't promise they'll always give medals away but they have been doing it for a very long time since the 5k started um and so it's fun it's fun it's and there's no extra cost for this people you can run the 5k walk it whatever you want to do and you get the castaway key 5k medal at the end and we were hungry 
because we got up early. So we ate at Cookies Barbecue. <laughs> there's Cookies 1 and Cookies 2. There are two Cookies Barbie Barbecues. They have delicious food and they're open from 11.30, I think, 11.30 to 2.30. And we ate at, it's actually 11.30 to 2, I think. 11.30 to you know what? You'll see the schedule in right your here. Disney Cruise Line app. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we decided to eat at Cookies 1. So we had lunch at Cookies 1, and each day, if you're doing a double dip, there is a slightly different menu. What did you get? I got a cheeseburger both days. Uh, what else? I got some spare ribs. I got some like yummy chili bean yumminess. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Pineapple bread and a bunch of fruit. They always have fruit, which is a healthy choice. And the fruit's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. When you say it tastes uh, so best good. Best fruit I've ever had. This cantaloupe I had was amazing. It is. But um, as you can see, we'll try to drop a little bit of a video in there, but because of the plexiglass, it's hard to see the food. Um, but I, I like to eat healthy and a little bit lighter. So I got some coleslaw and some fruit and uh, I asked for just lettuce and tomatoes from the burger bar. Um, and there's plenty to drink. The drink stations now in Castaway Key are self-serve. Um, they used to be a cast member there serving you and that's kind of reversed a little bit, but all the soda you can drink, there's lemonade, there's iced tea, water. That's right. It's all included, no extra cost, right? After that, what? Time for the beach. Oh yeah, time for the beach. And you run up to the water, you're ready to jump in, splash, and you dip your toe in, and holy moly, it's pretty freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was so you don't get in. I, oh, I got in. It's beautiful. The water here is so crystal clear. But on I mean, day, day one, we did not get in. We were like, oh, you did get in. <laughs> I did get in, and I got out kind of fast and laid I didn't. in the sun. I didn't. I didn't get in. I'm not that brave. <laughs> um, but we just enjoyed relaxing and laying in the sun the first day. The second day, I got in. It was a little bit warmer, but you can see the fish because the water is so clear um, and there's a natural berm here at Castaway Key which kind of prevents rough ocean waves so the water is smooth it's always swimmable well Not 90 always. 99 percent of the time it's swimmable I mean if they have a thunder and lightning storm they have told people to get out of the water and off the beach that's rare um, but it can happen but oh my gosh that's why you have a double dip that's why you have a double stop so if one day doesn't work out the next day will um it's beautiful I can't I can't say enough great things about the water and how That's fun right. it is. I will tell you that um, there are amazing snorkeling lagoons and really neat things to find under those snorkeling lagoons. You can see all kinds of fun Disney characters and Disney themed things um, in the snorkeling lagoon. You can bring your own snorkel and then you can ask for a snorkel vest and it's free of charge. Oh, you have your own snorkel right there even. Anyway, you can bring your own snorkel and goggles and then it's free. You do have to get a snorkel vest, but that's free. Or for a minimal charge, I think it was something like $15, you can rent snorkel gear for the day. And there's so much to look on at. On Castaway, you can also go on like a stingray excursion. You can rent right. kayaks, even water bikes. You can bike around on the water. Uh, you can parasail. There's a lot of things so you can do, and, and that's another good thing about a double dip at Castaway Key is one day you can relax and spend on the beach, and the other day you can explore and that's take right. an excursion because you get two chances out, and it's so hard to decide what to do. We forgot to mention, we got up on day two, and day one we were exhausted from that 5K, but we were like, let's do it again. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We do need to, let's do it again. Um, and, it, and it makes me feel a little bit less guilty about all of the food I've been eating. And I'm looking forward to tonight, dinner at Animator's Palette. Um, and the lemon icebox pie is on the menu. Lemon icebox, one of my favorite things on Disney Cruise Line. The other ships have it too. Um, but tonight at Animator's Palette, there's a special animation activity treat which we have to get you guys in on that action. Um, That's right, and you get to draw something and it dances around on the screens. Bring it to life. Comment down below what you would draw. I know, I wanna hear it. If you, or if you've done it before, um, we wanna hear what you've drawn before. What are your best drawings? Um, and last night though, cause we're kind of covering two days in this vlog because we did two stops at Castaway Key. Last night we were also in Animator's Palette and it was pirate night. Mm -hmm. So, okay, if you see this funky black thing here on my arm, that's a uh, tattoo of Jack Sparrow. Temporary tattoo. <laughs> it will wash off in the water. <laughs> but I had to put it on last night for pirate night. Everyone dresses up, you hear pirate music throughout the ship. 
Um, and even Pirate Stitch. Pirate characters. Pirate Mickey, Pirate Stitch. Um, we're gonna do our a separate vlog episode about the characters of Disney Cruise Line. That's right. Because Disney Cruise Line, if you wanna meet characters, this is the place to do it, right? They are so interactive, they are silly, they are crazy, they are fun, and you can't interact with them. I mean, we're annual pass holders for Walt Disney World and we don't live far from there and we go a lot, but the characters are not interactive in the theme parks like they are in the cruise line. So that's definitely an advantage that's here. Right. But anyway, um, yeah, Pirate Night yes. it was a blast. They have a little pirate performance. Look at some of these guys dancing around, sword fighting. It's crazy. They're all crazy. And they go, they go, oh, like, it's extra. It's not, it's not calmly, like, walking around singing. It is crazy. They're pirates. <laughs> It's above and beyond. Oh, and you get a pirate bandana at dinner. They used to leave them in your stateroom, but now they give them to you at dinner. That's free. It's included. So everyone gets a pirate bandana. But we'll also do a separate video about that. <laughs> everyone can, um, everyone can, everyone can be a pirate. Oh my gosh, I can't spit out my worst day. Everyone can be a pirate. Everyone can join in the fun. I personally forgot my pirate outfit, but I was still pirate at heart with okay. a bandana. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, we got, we got way sidetracked on Pirate Night, but we, we haven't really finished Castaway Key. So we had a good time, played in the water, laid in the sun, um, and dried out, and then dessert. That's right. You want to tell them about dessert? Ooh, dessert. Yeah. Tell them about dessert. A lot of ice cream. <laughs> on Castaway Key, it's all included, right? That's right, every bit of ice cream, there's strawberry, banana, chocolate, vanilla, and those flavors may change as well, but I personally am a big fan of the ice cream here. <laughs> soft, serve, soft serve ice cream, all you can eat, you can ask for as much as you want and go back as many times as you want. And I may have gone a little overboard. <laughs> That's what vacation's all about, right? That's right. And cruises especially, it's all about the food. The food is phenomenal on Disney Cruise Line. There is no exception. Here we are. Here we are. Walk back. Uh, yeah, we, we walked back. We didn't take, you can take the tram, but we walked back and now the Disney Magic is sitting, I can't see the screen honestly very well because of the sun. Right it's here. sitting somewhere over here waiting for us to get back on board. Um, we're gonna go to the Youth Open House, maybe. That's right, the Vibe Club. And we're gonna have a little pre-dinner snack and what is that gonna be? Shawarma. Shawarma. <laughs> now we know why the Avengers like shawarma so much. We get all the hype. Um, to my knowledge, the shawarma station at Donald's Dine-In up on the pool deck, and he laughs every time I say shawarma. I don't know what it is. It's, it's so like, funny. It's such like, a fun you word You just to giggle say. like a three-year-old. I don't know. Shawarma, shawarma, shawarma. <laughs> okay. Well, the shawarma station is unique um, to the Disney magic, to my knowledge, because we went on the Disney Fantasy a few months ago and the Disney Dream a month before that, and they didn't have a shawarma station. But at Donald's Dine-In near the pools, they have a shawarma station and we're gonna go snack on some of that because we do have a late dinner. We kind of prefer a late dinner, So right? we're gonna get some shawarma. <laughs> okay. He's a goofball. Um, yeah, so shawarma's up next and, and showers and get ready for dinner and maybe on board there's so much to do. We're gonna check out some trivia, some game shows, some fun things like that. We hope though you picked up some fun, some good information and fun tips about Disney's Castaway Key and the 5K and things like that. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below. We would love to hear from you. No matter where you're going or who you're going with, I always wish you adventure and pixie dust.